Hello guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to fix if Sims 4 game failed to load and if you are getting this error. Now, uh, most of the time it's happening because of the broken mods or CC files or broken files inside EA folder. So first of all, what you want to do is go ahead to your documents. And on your documents, you want to find your electronic arts folder. And then you will see here uh, Sims 4. Uh, you want to go ahead and back up your e electronic arts folder somewhere else. Just copy it and paste it somewhere else, and for example, on external hard drive. Now, once you've done that, you want to take out all of the script mods from your uh, Sims 4. So you want to go ahead and open it up. And then on mods, you should see your TS4 script files. Uh, I don't have them anymore, but basically you will find them here. You can go ahead and uh, sort them out by type uh, until you will see all of the TS4 script mod uh, files. You also want to delete the files which are UI, uh, MC, package files. Now another thing you want to go ahead and delete would be a uh, local thumb catch package file, a uh, game version file, and options any file. Uh, this will basically remove any options fr from there, but once you, once you will launch the game, it will fix itself and this file will reappear. Now once you've done with that, you want to open up EA app and then on Sims 4, you're going to click three dots and click repair button. It will take a few minutes to do uh, and it should fix your problem. If that didn't fix the problem, you'll want to reset the entire game if nothing works. So first of all, you will need to again um, copy and paste your electronic arts uh, uh, folder somewhere else, like on external drive or so. Uh, and after you've done that, you want to go ahead and name, rename this um, electronic arts folder to something like electronic arts old. Now, once you have renamed it to the old, you want to go ahead and open it, then go to Sims 4. And here you want to find tray option. You want to go ahead and copy all of these, um, copy all of these, and then go to the new folder and paste them to the um, tray. So basically, when you will launch the game, the new Electronic Arts folder will pop up here. And then you're going to go to Electronic Arts new folder and you're going to paste your tray here. Uh, now, after you've done that, you want to do the same with your saves and um, with your saves and also screenshots. So basically, just go ahead and paste them to your new EA folder. Now you also want to make sure that you do not copy your old mods, so script mods, which you have deleted. Uh, but if you have some old CC files, you can copy them and check, but you want to check for updates. Now, if none of that, if none of that worked, you want to go ahead, ahead and then again, back up your EA folder, uh, paste it somewhere else. And you want to uninstall Sims 4. Uh, because there's no other option. So you're going to click uninstall here and you also want to uninstall your EA app. So we can go to your installed apps on your Windows. If you are using Windows and then you're going to search for EA and you want to delete it, uninstall it. Uh, now, as you have backed up uh, your EA, for, uh, EA documents, you will have everything here saved, so you don't actually need to do much. Uh, but after you will install it again, uh, it should work just fine. So if this video was helpful, guys, make sure to subscribe to this channel and I will see you next time.